When the shepherd, when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. He means for you as a pastor, when the hard times come that make you not want to be a pastor, which they will, family things that make it almost unbearable, church conflict that makes it almost unbearable, external persecution that makes it almost unbearable. He knows those are coming and therefore he offers you this amazing payoff. When the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. If you look around and there doesn't seem to be a lot of payoff here, lift up your eyes. And if you've been taught by some wacko ethicist that you shouldn't live for reward, close that book and read the Bible. This is a glorious promise to faithful pastors in hard situations. And it's meant to be motivating. It's meant to produce perseverance. It's meant to produce eagerness. It's meant to produce willingness. It's meant to produce on the ground, in the trenches, exemplary life. That's why it's here, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree with that? When the chief shepherd comes, you who've just heard and followed my instructions about willingness and eagerness and exemplary life, you will be crowned by the king of the universe. Are you kidding me? I will be crowned by the king of kings. You can last. Yes, you can. Oh, you can last. And if you dwell on it, dwell on verse 4 long enough, you could fall in love with this work again. You can. You can. Life is short. Crown is big. They, they, they can't rob you. Don't let them rob you of the joy of the ministry. Isn't that remarkable that a, a book like this, full of pain, cover to cover suffering, would say you should be a happy pastor. You should be a happy pastor. That's amazing to me. And it roots the happiness here in hope. 